Uh, we'll talk antibiotics. Sure. Uh, doxycycline specifically. Uh, this is one that, you know, I think always comes up on the boards. Uh, to what extent that this is occurring in practice is hard to say at this point. Uh, but, but with that specific antibiotic, you have an increased uh, photosensitivity or increased sensitivity to the sun while you're taking the medication. Meaning it hurts your eyes or meaning your skin is more skin. sensitive? Yes, okay. your skin is more sensitive to the sun. So pretty, pretty simple. I don't think it's worth going into the whole mechanism by which this occurs. Sure. But in general, uh, you know, this is something that when we're checking somebody out, we, we mention, especially if we notice this is a new, um, you know, a new medication for them and infrequently uh, prescribed medication for them. Uh, as doc, as doxycycline can occasionally be used for more extended periods for, you know, if somebody has, has had limes or recurrent bacterial infections, skin infections, rosacea, but if this seems like a one-off for them, I think it's worth mentioning to maybe use a little higher SPF, uh, than normal, or if they can just avoid that prolonged, um, you know, prolonged time in the sun. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think I was, I was prescribed that not too long ago. And I remember the doctor saying the same thing, except that it was like the middle of January. So there wasn't a lot of risk of being out in the sun too mm -hmm. much. I mean, it seemed like before there was, you know, in younger, in younger uh, individuals, it was, uh, I would hear, I heard a pharmacist on rotation say, uh, no tanning, like no tanning for, for a certain amount of time. So it seems like tanning beds are not as, uh, not as popular. Anymore. I was going to say tanning beds seem to have <laughs> declined in popularity, but you know, some people <laughs> no, are still, still a thing. That. Yeah. <laughs>